Part 6. Installing drop-in sinks. The instructions in this demonstration are basic guides and are not intended to cover all situations that may arise in the installation process. There will be specific conditions for each project which will need to be managed as they occur. Kiwani chem resin drop-in sinks come from the factory as ordered and ready for installation. To install drop-in sinks, you will need the following tools and hardware. We recommend two buckets with water and cloths, a putty knife, two-part epoxy cement, and proper safety equipment. The installation manual, which can be downloaded from kiwani.com, should be read carefully before beginning the installation. Prior to installation, all sinks should be pre-fitted to ensure they have the correct configuration and measurements. Drawings included with the chem resin should be reviewed and compared to the shop drawings to confirm all dimensions are correct. Each sink has a label that shows its part number that matches the number logic shown on the drawings. Prepare the epoxy cement. The cement comes in two parts, A and B. Mix the two parts half and half on a smooth disposable surface and use the mixture as quickly as possible. If the cement isn't used within 15 to 20 minutes, the mixture will harden and be wasted. Determine the correct amount of epoxy cement needed to achieve proper level to the adjacent surface. Use the putty knife to apply the epoxy cement to the recessed area of the drop-in sink cutout. A liberal amount is usually needed to properly install the sink. Drop the sink into the corresponding cutout. Once the sink is in place, excess cement will be pressed out of the sides. Use a putty knife to carefully remove this excess and reapply to any areas where it is needed. Follow the same procedure to install the drain outlet. Be sure to have a cloth with a bucket of dirty water and a cloth with a bucket of clean water to clean the epoxy residue. Constantly change the water so that the surfaces are clean when they dry. Chem resin work surfaces cannot be sanded. Do not allow the epoxy cement to remain on the surface. The surface must be completely clean.